and welcome to Crystal Crafts. Today we have a special guest, my little sister Karina. Hi guys. Today our craft is going to be making candles. So what we need for this craft is, you need mason jars. These mason jars with handles are from Michael's and these short vases are from the Dollar Tree. We also got these wax blocks from Michael's. These blocks are specifically for jar candles as opposed to pillar candles. And we got beeswax and pellets in hopes that this wax will melt a little bit faster than the block wax. We also got these candle wicks from Michael's and we got extra length so that we can wrap them around these, the wooden dowels, and prop them with candles. <laughs> so that we can prop them on top of the candle holder. So that the wax, so that the wick doesn't move around when we pour the wax. You're also gonna need some form of a slicer to be able to slice the wax, some essential oils, a pair of scissors to cut the wicks, and we're just using a cutting board so we don't mess up our countertops. And you can also buy essential oils from Michael's too. We just had these with us. You're also gonna need um, a pod or a bowl on the stove or in the microwave to be able to melt the wax down. All right, you ready to get crafting? Let's do it. Let's, Let's get, get crafting. So here you're gonna see us opening the one pound of jar wax that we got. It came in four blocks and we cut those blocks into about thirds so that they could melt quicker in the pot. We placed all those blocks in a pot over medium heat and it took around four minutes for all of them to melt. Now we are placing the hot glue on the wicks and we are going to put them into the jar When you put your wick in, you're going to want to press it down firmly and wrap the remaining wick around a dowel. If you put some hot glue on the dowel, the wick tends to stay raveled tighter and longer. Now we're going to check on our wax. It's melting pretty quick. There it goes. <laughs> um, we're gonna use lavender and lemon for our first candle. I recommend adding more than just like three or four drops. Of now remember the more drops you put in, the stronger of a scent you'll get. Okay, so when you pour this, I recommend not pouring straight on top of the wick or else it becomes unraveled. So pour a little to the side, you know. Um, the wax, it looks clear, but it will eventually dry white. We used grapefruit oil in the second one. The smell was not very strong, so that's not a scent I would recommend doing unless you're going to use a lot of essential oil. Oh, and I also recommend putting newspaper down before you pour the wax so it doesn't get on the counter. Now in pouring in the beeswax, we did get a one pound bag and we started with about half of the bag, but we're using this for the mason jar candles and half a pound was not enough. We ended up needing the entire pound. The mason jars were longer than the small vases we got, so we used a wooden dowel to press down the wicks so that they stayed in the bottom of the jar. And for this one, we're gonna use cinnamon because you can't read, so I have to tell you. <laughs> it pours this bright yellow color, but it dries a much lighter yellow. That's kind of pretty. Now you can see here that they're white and yellow and light yellow in color. You can, you, you do have the option of adding food dye or coloring for the candles. 
We cut the wigs to be about a quarter of an inch tall, but and we threw away the excess because they, they don't have a base on them. Thank you so much for watching Crystal's Craft. Thank you so much, Karina, for being my special guest. If you have any suggestions of DIY or Pinterest craft you want to see me do, go ahead and comment those down below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and click the red button down there to see more of her. Bye. We out!